Okay, we're going to look real quickly at how to solve both of these cube problems. We're looking for, again, the length, the width, and the height. Oops, sorry. And we're looking for how all of this uh, works together. So the key part to focus on is where this comes down and this comes out. And we're going to talk about which, um, which line of cubes equals which measurement. So when I looked at the definition in the original assignment overview, and I'll come back here and we'll go to, let me, come, let me get it here, sorry. We'll come in here and we'll go to yesterday's lesson where we had the assignment overview introduction. And we're looking at length, the measurement of the distance from left face to right face, width, front, to back and height bottom to top or top to bottom. So we're going to come back here to our um, picture here. And remember length is from left and I usually use the L from left to right. Width is front to back and height is bottom. Now I know these kind of look the same. So that's kind of confusing, I'm sure. I think I'm going to erase this and redo this one here and do that real quick. And we'll make this a slanted line going from front to back, and that'll help. From front to back. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in a second. Oh, I'll draw my arrow. There we go. I'll show you what I mean by that here in a second, okay? All right. So let's look for length. Let's identify the length first. Which one goes from left side to right side. And I see that this is the left face right here. Whoops. This is the left face right here and it goes all the way across to the right face. This line is going to be the length, okay? Then I see that this is the front face and this is the back face and it goes all the way back that way. This line right here is going to be the width. And then obviously this goes from top to bottom and bottom to top. And this is going to be the height. And so now I'm just going to identify and count. And here's where the tricky part comes in, because you can see all three of these come together right here. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The length of this object is going to equal six. Even though you only see five, you have to count this one in the middle between here and here that you know is there. You just can't see it because it's covered up by the height and the width. So next we're going to go to the height. We have one, two, three, and then there's one more down there, four. So the height equals four. Write that in. And the width, we have to count this one right here at the front. One, two, Whoops, three, four, and then one more for the back there is five, and the width is five. So we've got five by four by six, or length of six times width of five times height of four. It says cubes needed to fill prism one, right? Cubes needed to fill prism one is six right, times five rows forward. So the area of the base would be 30 because six times five here is 30, six times five is 30. And that means 30 times four would be the volume for 100, whoops, too far, 120 cubes. And that means I have 120 cubed units. Okay, now we're gonna come over here, same thing. This length right here, or this stack of cubes is gonna be the height. Okay. 
then it gets really, really, really tricky. Okay, we have to see, put all the cubes together that would equal the length from side to side. So we obviously would have a cube here that's one, and a cube here that's two. And then this one would be three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So our length from left to right is eight. Whoops. Our height is one, two, three, four, five. So our height is five, our length is three, and our width is our front to back. And so we're gonna count one, because this one touches the front face, two, three, and four. So our width from front to back, and I'm just gonna draw a line out from this one. Our W is four. Cubes needed to fill prism two. Five times four equals twenty. So five, which is the height, times four, which is the width. And then I take twenty times eight, for, whoops, twenty times eight for my length, and I get one sixty. So I come down here, I need 160 cubes. And that means the volume is 160 units cubed.